Hey Siri, what should everyone do while watching my video? Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to AJ170's name so you never miss a video. Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170 and today I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways you can save music offline for your iOS device, guys. So huge shout out to Boomhacks for actually giving me these two apps because as most of you know, I'm not really a fan of music downloaders just because of the fact that there's I've gotten strikes from them in the past and there's even been a YouTuber in the past that I even got terminated from these. So they do scare me a little bit so I don't really go on the lookout for them. But Boom, he uploads a lot of music videos, mainly music videos and lately he's been doing a lot of game preview videos for ios but he is similar to my channel because he does do a lot of everything that involves ios guys so anyways don't forget to check him out link inside the description underneath the link to all the apps so anyways guys can i get 170 likes also if you're a new support the 170 and subscribe so with that said let's go ahead and jump right into this video guys i'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys over on my iphone now Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm on my iPhone now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these two apps. Go ahead and ignore the Mu and MuZ, because they actually don't download them. They only download them, but you have to use them online, which makes the whole downloading process completely useless. So here's the first app right here. I do like the way it looks. It does look different than the rest, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to search an Infratist, which is one of my favorite artists. So if I go ahead and type that in, scroll down, I'm just going to select one of his, I'm just going to select a random song. I'm going to select Master Pain, and then you're going to add it to a playlist. Once you guys add it to a playlist, it is downloaded just like that. Just go ahead, play it, skip around inside of the song, like just buffer to random parts of it just to make sure it downloaded. And now we're going to go ahead, we're going to force close the app, and now we're going to pull up the control center and put it our phone into airplane mode. Once I put my phone into airplane mode, I can go ahead and open up the app, guys. So let's go ahead and wait for this app to open. And then I can go ahead and select a song. And as you guys can see, it is working. If you look at the little time it's playing, the time is actually going up and it's still working perfectly fine. So this does download them for offline use, guys. So if I go ahead, I'm going to go turn back on my Wi-Fi now. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next app. So if I go ahead and open up my next app and wait for it to open up, guys, that normally takes only a second or two. There we go. So you guys are going to remember this app. This is the one that's been around for a while. It just gets uh, banned and then re-uploaded. So you're going to go to search music and then just go ahead and type in artist. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in vulgar, which is vulgarific. And then I'm going to go ahead and if you guys want to make sure it's a song you want to play, just or download, just press and hold it and wait a couple of seconds and it'll actually start playing, guys. But that's the song I want, so I'm going to go ahead and tap it and then I'm going to hit download. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the download, and this download actually failed. I don't know what caused it to fail, but it did. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to later on, because I tried it with another song, that it just, it just didn't want to work. So I'm going to go ahead and skip it to where I got it to actually work, guys. Alright guys, so I skipped to where I searched in a different artist, so I'm just going to go ahead and download this song. Then we can hit the little download button and we can watch it download, guys. So if this is normally only takes a good second or two, because it downloads really fast. And you guys are going to know if it downloads successfully, because the song will automatically go away from the download queue manager, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to see it in the My Songs category. So if I go ahead and play it just to make sure it's the right song, which it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to force close the app and I'm going to go inside of airplane mode. So as you can see, I am now inside of airplane mode, guys. And now I'm going to go ahead and force close the app. So if I go ahead and slide up on it, and if I go ahead and reopen it, guys, wait a few seconds for it to open, you'll get the little error. Don't worry, guys, it'll still work. Go ahead and go over to my songs, select one of the songs, and as you guys can see, it does start playing if you look at the little time. If you guys don't believe me, download the app and try it yourself, guys, because remember, these will get banned fast. And uh, yeah, this app is fully working. It's really, really nice to use in case you guys need some music. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to download all of these apps, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to download these apps. Like I just said, I don't know why I said that like twice now. So you can either go to the link inside of the description, or you can search for them in the App Store. I highly recommend you go into the link inside the description, because people have trouble remembering the names of them. So if I go ahead and go to Updates, once I go to Updates, I'm going to go ahead and go to Purchase, because I've already installed these apps. I'm just going to show you that these are still in the App Store at the time of making this video. So if I go ahead and select it, 
and here is the first one as you guys can see from the pictures it even looks the same if i scroll up and i'm gonna go ahead and search for the other app so if i go ahead and type it in there it is so if i go ahead and tap that as you guys can see there is the other one guys so that is how you get both of these apps i recommend you go to the links inside the description that's what they're there for but anyways guys this is going to be aj170 signing out see you guys next time